Hello YouTube, this is Raul here with my little escapade. Welcome once again to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about my blogging setup and also about a solution uh, for the EOS M6 or for any flip screen camera. Um, in which the screen does not flip to the side an audio solution um, all, um, here as you can see I have my Canon EOS M6 let me zoom in real quick and as you and of course as you can observe if you mount something into the hot shoe I mean <laughs> into the cold shoe <laughs> into the call shoot over here um, the screen won't be able to flip all the way over therefore that's a problem that probably the manufacturer did not think of or was just bluntly ignoring at the time of the design of this camera so in case you have this setup in which you have an EOS M6, M3, any of the M series or any Sony or camera that has a flip up screen and a cold shoe mount on top um, this is a great sh solution so this over here it is a Velo plate it is, it is the CB600 straight flash bracket so I'm guessing that the original design or intent of this bracket was for a flash but basically you can use it for a microphone, for a light, for a flash, for anything that you can think of. This is the brand itself. Let me just zoom in real quick. I'm going to include the links. Um, and the link so you can purchase it. Um, and this is my camera. I mean, right now I'm using a 24 millimeter lens um, and EFS, therefore I'm using a mount. This is the Viltrox mount. Um, and this is a Rode Video Micro. Um, why did I choose the Micro? I chose the Video Micro because I did a few reviews. This is the Micro right there. I chose the Micro because after um after having a f uh you know after doing a f watching a few reviews um i saw i had the uh, after watching a few reviews um i saw that it produced the best quality of sound at a cheaper price the only one that surpasses of course is the video mic pro if you have the video mic go you might find a very similar quality in sound but um, that video might go, I found that it, it catches a lot of um, unwanted frequencies and even background noises. So this, the good thing about this is that it focuses uh, what's capturing in front of the camera and not around the camera. Uh, so it's somewhat of a mono-directional microphone and that's a very good thing about it why did i choose this camera i chose the canon es m6 because it's a mirrorless camera it's the way of the future eventually cameras will be um evolving into similar models like this from canon and mostly sony um honestly i haven't seen much around in the nikon they are not so popular i guess um but I like that it's small. Uh, it has dual out of focus, which is necessary for blogging. Um, you know, you just can't depend on manual fo focus if you're just having a one man operation, um, which is difficult. Um, this over here, this camera has a very uh, quick out of focus. It's not as quick as the Sony line sony is like the leader in autofocus but this one is pretty decent and i like it i mean haven't had any major issues with it um it and another very important detail 
it's the mic input as you can see many compact cameras do not have mic inputs therefore um, having a mic input 3.5 millimeter at least um, really helps and uh, you know in order to improve your audio if not I would have to record my audio separately and then synchronize it in the software you know in the movie editing for software um, another thing that I like about this believe it or not is the tiny flash this flash you can basically just point it to wherever you want you can bounce it up the roof and it's an excellent flash you know if you forgot uh, yours you can do a lot of cool things with it um, obviously it has the flip screen that is a must for all bloggers and another detail that I like it is this knobs you know it has knobs so you can say change the the exposure the shutter speed or uh, aperture and the uh, dial over here for the modes um, all of these dials basically help you um, change the settings quickly without any hassle it basically has almost all the features of the Canon 80D almost other than being able to to manually change your out of focus settings according to the lens you can't do this on this one but you can do it in the Canon 80D other than that it's a can it has the same power same photo quality as the Canon 80D of course everything's gonna be a little bit relative um, it's gonna depend on what kind of glass or lenses you are using so why did I choose the micro? I chose the video micro. I think I'm repeating myself. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like 10 p.m. So kind of tired. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Sometimes I'm using this lapel mic, um, but now I'm gonna switch to the video micro. And of course, for lighting. A very cheap solution um, I'm using LEDs here on my house um, 75 volts 375 volts LEDs and this um, newer CN160 around 20 bucks you know really cool really has lots of power Oof, you gotta love it so it produces a lot of light for a uh, you know if you're on a budget and it's a really uh, great LED um, it's a really great LED to start with so anyways thank you for watching and I hope that this video helps you a lot um, when choosing your equipment I had a lot of questions and issues I started and bought a, uh, I, I bought a lot of unnecessary equipment at first and now I'm trying to reduce the amount of things that I have on my back that makes the experience more um, enjoyable and also uh, faster and less stressful so I hope this helps you out so once again thank you for watching and if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below and I will reply to them so thank you for watching and goodbye all right hello YouTube today hello YouTube um, oops I need some light for this I guess Oof.